A Big Bang Theory star is stepping into an iconic sitcom role, and she has a big robe to fill. But what happened to the original Night Court judge? The brand new Night Court is a sequel series to the classic sitcom that premiered back in 1984 and ran until 1992 with 193 episodes. Both Night Court series take place in a courtroom setting in New York City, though what makes this premise different is that Night Court, as the name implies, covers the graveyard shift. This means that the stories and cases are usually zany misadventures featuring colorful characters. Of course, it takes somebody special to preside over such a courtroom. And the new Night Court lets Judge Abby Stone, played by Melissa Rauch, have a tremendous amount of fun, despite the lofty and often humorless role. Fans of the original Night Court will remember the judge who held sway in that courtroom, Harry Anderson's Judge Harry Stone. Harry wound up presiding over the original Night Court because the mayor was simply too busy and overwhelmed doling out positions within the government and Harry happened to be one of the few people to answer his phone. Harry soon found himself working the night shift courtroom in Manhattan. Though on account of his young age and unique outlook on life, his rulings were usually much more personable and understanding than what many may experience when coming face to face with a judge. The new night court, with Judge Abby Stone presiding, has already established that Abby is Harry's daughter, and in one of her first interactions with series veteran Dan Fielding, played by John Larroquette, the two discuss Harry. Dan was the prosecutor in the original night court, meaning that he's exceptionally familiar with Harry, as the two had something of a friendly antagonism. However, Dan mentions that although Harry and himself hadn't been close in quite some time, he offers condolences on Harry's passing, which is kept vague. I was sorry to hear about your father. We lost touch over the years, but he was a great guy. Actor Harry Anderson was beloved on the original Night Court and other famous shows like Cheers, and his death in 2018 at the age of 65 due to a stroke was a real loss for the television landscape. The new Night Court revival decided that instead of recasting the role, they instead would reflect real life with an off-screen death. This has not been lost on those who remember the original show, with quite a few expressing their thoughts on social media. On Reddit, fans tried to place some of the seemingly random items delivered to Judge Abby Stone's office, with one viewer pointing out, "...the armadillo was always in Harry's office, so that made me smile." The pool ball was later explained. In one episode, Harry gets depressed and quits. He becomes a pool hustler. Dan basically calls him out for quitting and gives him a speech that brings him back. The ball is a memento Harry kept to remember this. Another fan on Reddit brought up the rapid-fire nature of the jokes on this new Night Court and felt like if the show slowed down, the laughs would be a bit more robust. Your past, your feelings, you've put your whole life in a box and won't let anyone in. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Am I in the box or am I putting things in the box? I kind of lost the thread. The fan then mentioned that the late Harry Anderson had great comedic timing and added, the guy was a stand-up comic and a street performer first, and that way of delivery comes through in his lines. Melissa is a sitcom actor going through the paces here. She needs to relax into it. Still, it seems as if many still fondly remember Judge Harry and are happy to see him referenced in the new show.